This video right here is Rallo, man, responding to Boosie, man. Rallo came right back. He said, Auntie Boo Boo, I love you, and maybe we can sit and drink us a Coke 45 and talk. But you get on the internet and telling the world I got your number, and you know damn well I've been in prison for six years. You ran to the breakfast club before me and called me a rat in front of the whole world like it's against the street code to pay the bros to take a charge. You need to pay the security to take that gun charge for you like I try to do, or maybe that's a snitch move, huh? I ain't dissing you, bitch. I'm just loving you publicly. Us nep nephews get like that when we miss our favorite aunts and uncles. So what? We gonna do... Uh, we going to do, we going to have a sit down or we just going to eventually go to war. I'll pull up wherever with all my paperwork. Just tell me. So, yeah, man, I guess Lil Boosie went to the breakfast club, called Rollo a snitch, you know, without having all his facts straight. Now that Rollo out, man, um, we got to see where this go from there. Hopefully they can work things out without nobody getting hurt. Hit that like, share, subscribe. This made me the magazine. I'm out. Simply, I'm just simply, I was broken hearted. Uh, Academic, what's up, baby? You want to go live with me? Let me see something. All right. Against you, John, I ain't need, look, dog, just like you got niggas that's probably wouldn't it come smoke me. I got a thousand niggas not ask me, can they handle the business, nigga, on the love of BG, on Tudor Raw. And all the different niggas that fuck with you and love you, I ain't even on that type of time. Nigga, I love BG to death and what you did for BG while he was in jail. We highly appreciate that. A nigga ain't trying to discredit you for nothing that you have done for your people or for the community or what you have intended to do for me. Because don't get it fucked up now, Boosie. Now, I ain't around that motherfucker putting all our business on no motherfucking internet like nigga it ain't been times where you done sent your girl over there and got money from pakistan for free not for no features not for no verses nigga just just because you needed it nigga when you were building that big ass house out there and you were spending all your goddamn money and you were out of town and you needed help nigga don't act like i ain't help you while you coming on the internet i ain't never told the world none of this type of shit what i have done for you so don't get on that motherfucker acting like goddamn Rollo just around this motherfucker saying shit and you goddamn just done did shit for niggas and niggas ain't did nothing for you because you have caused a lot of harm to the community. You have caused a lot of harm to people. You done did fucked up things to people as well. So don't be around this motherfucker acting like it's just on Rollo John. Hell no. Nigga. nigga. You wanted to talk to me, you get on the internet. Nigga, I've been in prison five years and 10 months. How the fuck I got your number? How in the fuck I got your number, boo? When, when I got your number? Nigga, you went on, a, you went on Bravo Club and said that pussy ass shit about me, called me a rat. You went on the internet and you, you went, you knew those people were gonna post that shit. You knew them people were going to make that a big-ass motherfucking deal. You went on the internet and did that shit, right? So when I'm out here saying shit, now all your fans and shit want to say, oh, Rollo speaking on boots. What about when he called me a motherfucking rat? Want to support me? Make sure you go ahead and need me to read 3-7 in her inbox if you want to sign a copy of my book, man. Yeah.